Okay, so I here's a perfect example of to explain to me what I'm supposed to do. I have a moral obligation to report what is going on so others are spared from it and also to stop people who are at large. So yes, do I have to air out uh, you know, other people's dirty laundry? When they're at large, yes. Here's a perfect example and you tell me what am I supposed to do? Say nothing? I don't think that has a good connotation. I wouldn't feel right about not speaking about such things. So um, recently I've been kind of linking events that I couldn't explain who's behind them to this one harasser. And it's the same girl that got me um, in Santa Cruz under false charges, sent six police to my door for no reason, for welfare checks, for, for nothing, just to throw off the system. Well, she sins. Like in in uh, a year ago, you know, when I was in uh, Minnesota, she sent a fire truck that was unnecessary, and two medics and four police. So that's ten cops total. And I'm thinking you gotta think they gotta drive to the location, look for you, talk to you, and then uh, drive back to wherever they're supposed to go. So it's about an hour every time. So if that's ten cops, that's ten hours. And there were two sets of medics, and so it's four medics total. Um, and so those are four medics that were not on the road. Now, unfortunately, because they go, we got a call from you from this room number, and, and I'm like in this hotel going, what, it was matching your description, you didn't call? No, I, I didn't call. Uh, there's nothing going on. Are you not ODing? Well, I don't even do drugs. I don't know what you're doing. This prank phone call, honey, The spring phone call it led to them being there for like the next over an hour knocking on every single door in the hotel trying to find this fake phone call of me that's an hour that two medics weren't out there doing their job and four cops are detained doing this search for nobody they never found me because it's supposed to be me but I didn't call it's a prank phone call uh, here's my concern being that this person, then she went and she called um, the local uh, hospitals and admitted it to me, and um, was hoping that, given an um, hey, excuse me, given an emergency, uh, my son and I wouldn't be able to give treatment. And she goes, "Well, there's plenty of ERs. There's not actually 24-hour ERs. No, uh, there's really not a lot of those in town. Um, I think there's the one, and that's one that she had tried to say." Oh, she's a crazy woman at large. Catch her, you know. Don't allow them in the building. And she's literally trying to block my son from being able to get medical treatment. And it's at the point now where, you know, I'm... That's 13 hours that she wasted of the state employees. Medics, firemen, numerous police who all have emergencies to attend to. This person probably has a body count. That means 13 hours, 13 hours were wasted when these people have emergencies to attend to by this one prank caller. Are you kidding me right now? But I know this is, this is far from class, right? I don't care. This person has gone way too far. She's issuing death threat after death threat. She's endangering child after child, fetus after fetus, lie after lie, and literally just admitting that she wants to kill people and I'm sitting there watching and I am stunned and appalled I mean my god this is dark so this person you know who you are um, obviously that I have my own reasons to keep your anonymity and it's no favor to you no I think you guys can make an inferment um, of who is doing this um, you know, she was, <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you she has a mutual friend uh, named Beloved, whatever it means to you. And I'm now wondering all these prank calls about police, and I'm like, what is going on? And that was her, I know that for a fact. I know that she was calling the, and the IRS as well, mm -hmm. to say, oh, her, her son doesn't exist. I still haven't gotten my stimulus. I'm really frustrated. Now, this person is, uh, wow. 
Oh, she's been mis institutionalized multiple times, and I am, um, she is a danger, a real danger to herself and others, I can actively say that. I think she has a body count at this point, so she's making numerous fake accounts for me and other people, uh, acting like we're, uh, you know, and, and harassing all our friends and loved ones uh, with all these fake kind of postings and, and things that are really degrading. Who's amongst, who's going to be my next sperm donor? Will you be in men are like yes um you know but um and i'm just blown away that this is and this is really this was your star witness huh <laughs> this person is actively a danger because i'm like who is calling all these and i know that she admitted to the police i know that she admitted to calling about the um the fake kind of things with the hospital and so now I'm like, oh my god, are you the one setting medics and firemen? And uh, yeah, that would make total sense. And I am so freaked out by her. I think she is, she doesn't care if people die. Wow. And probably 13 hours, 13 hours that the state, not including hospitals all this other time, that would be several days. 13 hours she wasted on fake phone calls to these people. She's trying to frame other people with the same tactics, calling clinics and stuff. I, whoa, dude, you are not well. She is driving around without her medication, and so she can have these episodes at any time and wreck the car, and uh, she refuses to take her medication. She refuses to get psychiatric help, and it is... Wow, this is really dark, you guys. So yeah, I felt the need to report this. Pardon me.